I'm usually doing it. Um, okay. Uh, where do we leave? Oh, so we left off on the top of Samach Tes Amid Aleph. Uh, Amid Aleph is a little rough because it's a lot of psukim. Ahmed Bey's is Cheshbin, but it's but it's it's Gishmak, it's Gishmak. It's very interesting. I found it interesting. Um of the Cheshbin on Ahmed Bey is about the Kahanim, the children of Kahanim eating or not. So again, so what we're we discussing, and we're, we're in the middle of discussing the sugya of how women become puzzle to eat truma. So if somebody's mezana with the woman that she's that she's not allowed to, that would be one of the arayas, and then she becomes puzzled from having truma, and she becomes also puzzled to marry a kain. So we had said that if she, if a, yeah, if if a guy is mezana with her or an evid, then they go they're they're out. So we had learned it out because the pasuk says almana and gerushin that. Only somebody who would make their wife into an almana or a grusha if they got divorced, right, would 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 be applicable here. But a guy and an evid, who if they get divorced, don't then uh, then the meaning they will not make it to almana and a grusha. Then they don't. Then uh, then um, they're not. They're they're gonna make her possible, right? So that's what we're saying. So then the Gemara is going to ask, maybe instead of Amman and Grusha making a Chumrah, maybe it's going to make a Kula. That's where we're three, six, seven lines down from the top. right? Me, she actually Amman and Gerushin, but of somebody who has Amman and Gerushin, but who is not, that's regular people, meaning if the Kedushin is Chal, he less Lezera Ka'achla. When they don't have kids, she's allowed to eat the Chuma. He is Lezera but when she has kids, she's not allowed to eat it. Again, let's just uh, just just chaz at that point. When you have a bas kayan who marries a Yisrael, so she's not allowed to eat truma anymore because she's married to Yisrael. If they get divorced or she becomes an almana, then she's allowed to eat truma again as long as she doesn't have kids. If she has kids, even if it's grandkids, great grandkids, if there's any sort of zera that's alive, that's a Yisrael, then she's not allowed to have it. So, so he's saying. That maybe somebody who has almanas and almanas and gerushin, so maybe that's the type of person that if she doesn't have kids, she's allowed to go back to eat truma by her father. But if she has kids, she's not allowed. But Misha ain't allowed almanas and gerushin. But somebody who doesn't have almanas and gerushin, meaning like a guy or an evid, because if they die, that she's not an almana because it was never a marriage in the first place. Then afal gav de isle zera. Nami Teichel, maybe even even if she has a kid from the guy, she she would still be able to. Um, I'm sorry, not from the guy. Even if she has kids from a Yisrael, she would still she would still be allowed to eat truma. Meaning it's a big kula, not a chumra. So and Mela will not pass up a Koyan's daughter. So then the Lord answers, "In Cain, Rebuy Levi of Yisraelis, Lamedi. Then why do you need a Rebuy of a Levi and Yisraelis that they also um, become puzzle? Meaning, if the whole thing is a heter, not a psul, so then if a bas koyin does not become puzzle from sleeping with a guy, then a can a then, then a a koyin, a Levi and Yisrael, a Levi and Yisraelis for sure are not going to become puzzle. So then why would you need an additional pasuk, the word ubas, to tell that to you?" So therefore, we sh- we slug that up. Tosis has an interesting kasha because he says we know that the rule is, anytime you have a choice of, of uh, of a hekish, then you always go with the chumra, not the kula. I forgot where we had that rule. So what's the gemara asking here? That's trying to make a say, mate, let's make a hekish to the kula, not to the chumra. Fine. Rabbi Kiva Dharmar and kedushin Tosin bechayve lavin. So we know that Rabbi Kiva holds that even chayve lavin kedushin doesn't work because he holds this this chorus. Even by Chayve Lavin. So we keep a Dharma in Kedushin Tosim Chayve Lavin. So then Mikey see a Ish Zar. So when it says the Pasik, when a woman will be to an Ish Zar, to a, to a, a strange man, right? That can't be to Sia. We've been saying Sia means marriage. That can't be to Rebbe Kiva because there is no such thing as marriage, according to Rebbe Kiva. Any Isser, any sort of Isser Arias, even if it's just a love, which according to everybody else holds the marriage is a good marriage, even though they weren't allowed to get married. 
But Rabbi Kiva holds they're not allowed to get married. So how can you have kisi ish? So it must be kisivil. It means when she sleeps with the man, not when she, not when she uh, marries. So Almon or Grusha Lamali said, why do I need a Pasuk of Almon and Grusha for? There's nothing, there's nothing inclusive. That's uh, she's she's never married to anybody. So the Gemara answers, Almona lahachmer aleo, grusha lahakel aleo. No, it says the word Almona to be strict and the word grusha to be maker. But Tzrichon, you need both. The Iyash mean Almona, because if it's telling us Almona, so Almona hu techi lesle zera achla, and Almona who doesn't have kids, she's allowed to go back to eat the truma by her father's house, b'shum dechazi l'kahuna, because the bottom line is in Almona, she can marry a kayin. So she's still roi, to not only be the daughter of a kain, which she is, but she's even right to be the wife of a kain. Avo grusha the leichazi the kahuna, but somebody who's divorced, who's not right to be a, to the kahuna. Ain ma afagav the less lazer So maybe she, even if she doesn't have kids, she won't be able to eat, right? The, meaning he's saying an almana. We can understand that if a woman a bas kain marries a yisrael, and then she loses her husband, right, and. And she has no long, she has no more kids. We would still say she could be a kayan because she's allowed to marry a kayan. So she'd be able to eat truma, right? But a grusha who's not never allowed to marry a kayan, so she's done. She was a basca and married Israel. Now she's a grusha. She's done with kahuna. So maybe she shouldn't be able to eat truma. Kamash Malan, that she would be able to. Yashmin and grusha, and if it would say grusha, so it's the opposite. Grusha, who dechi isla zera loy achla, a grusha. When she has kids, she's not allowed to go back and eat truma after her husband divorces her. Because she's no longer met Roy to marry a Kayan. But a widow, the Chazi Lukahuna, she could marry a Kayan. Even though she has Zera, she should be able to, so, to, to eat. So that's why it's telling you that both of them have the same din. Almona and Agrusha have the same din. If they have kids, they're not allowed to go back to eating truma. If they don't have kids, they're allowed to go back to eating truma. Okay, now the Gemara just asks Stam a few kashas on, on what makes these Abbas Kayan puzzle. What about Mahsa Grushasa? Right, it's an interesting question. A man gets married, divorces his wife, and then she goes and marries somebody else. So the din is he's not allowed to, he's not allowed to go back and marry his wife. Right? What happens if he did? Is she now puzzled to Kahuna? Right, this lady has a has a busy life. She got married to 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 somebody, got divorced, got married to somebody else, got divorced. Then her first husband remarried her, which is Shaloi Kedin. Right, but Lamaisa, it was her husband. So does that make her now puzzled to marry a Kayan? So my answer is Laish The Pasuk says to a strange man, Misha Zoretzla Meikara. That's somebody who was strange to her from the beginning, meaning somebody who was also to her from the beginning. Lafuke hai, the loizar as the meikaru, comes to exclude this guy who was not strange to her because he was, she was already married to him before. So therefore, it will not make her puzzle for kahuna. If a master grushase, it will not make her puzzle for kahuna. The Gemara has a different kasha. Iyachi cholol, the lavzar hu. How about a cholol? Right? Now, it's the iyachi here is a little misleading. Right? If you look at the Rashi, Rashi seems not to have Iyachi because one doesn't follow the other. It's not this can this this kasha seemingly does have doesn't have any connection to the previous kasha. So cholo, but we're saying stam a cholo, the lav zarhu, a cholo is not a zar, meikara, right? So which is also a debate whether you got is meikara. So cholo, the lav zarhu, loy live so should not make her puzzle, right? There's no iser for a woman to marry a chol. She's just not going to, she's not, her kids are going to be chal, but she, there's no iser for a woman to marry a chal. Okay? So then if there's no iser, so will that make her into a chal? So why should it be? So I said, no. She should not make her children chal. We make, we, we make a comparison between the kids and her, and him. Mahu just like him, he makes, he makes, um, uh, lady Puzzle, Avzare Nami Puzzle. So his son also is going to make the kids Puzzle. So meaning he's a, even though he, he only became a Chol from his father, 
right? He didn't do anything wrong, right? A chol didn't do anything wrong. A, a, a kain, remember, a kain doesn't become a chol from one of the more interesting dinim, right? A chol himself, the, a kain who sleeps with a grusha, marries a grusha, does not become a chol. His kid becomes a chol. So that's what we're saying, that just like the kid is a chol, so therefore, um, um, just like the father makes somebody puzzle if he's a chol, right? If he were to be a chol, so then he is also going to, um, the kid is also going to be, okay. So then we said, it is going to be what? He's going to, the chol, when a, when, a, uh, when a man marries a grusha, he makes her puzzle for kahuna, right? Okay. So what about his son? He's a, he's a cholol, but he never did anything wrong. Meaning there's no iser for the cholol to marry the kaya, the bas kaya. Right? There's no iser. The kids will be cholol, but there's no iser to do that. So maybe she doesn't become pasal the kahuna and to truma from just marrying a cholol. Not, not, again, the cholol, not, not a, not, she, she's not a grusha. That's, that's, that's marrying a koyin. That avada makes her into a chol. We're talking about this, a son, from a, a son who's a chol, right? Because his father married a grusha. Yeah. So he just he didn't do anything wrong. He was like a mamzer. He was born. Okay, he was yeah, born no. into. He was born into the wrong guy, right? Yeah. So and now he goes and he and, and he mar- and he sleeps with a woman, a bas koyin, or Israel or anybody. He sleeps with a woman. Does that make her now puzzle the truma into kahuna? The okay. Gemara's thinking maybe not because. There was no iser for them to marry. The Gemara says, no, just like the father makes, makes a grusha into a chalol, so, so too the son is going to make the make a woman into, into a chalol. That's how, that's how it's saying. So then the Gemara says, maybe all these cases is only <clears throat> when they get engaged or married, even before they have beer. Who says it's the beer that makes them puzzle? So Gemara says, no, do me the Kohen Gola Ba'amona. It's similar to Kohen Gola with Ba'amona. Ma Kohen Gola Ba'amona Bebiya, just like a Kohen Gola with Ba'amona, only makes, only, she only becomes puzzle. When Bia, Avhai, right, we had it a bunch of blood ago. So Avhai, Nami, Bebiya. So Zot, to all these, it's only with Bia. If they just get married and they don't have Bia, then it's not a problem. So then Gemara says, Be'ema Adi Ika Havaya Ubiya. Maybe it has to be marriage and Bia. Who says it's just beer? Till now we've been talking about where they have just beer. Right? Um, so, so, but maybe it needs to be marriage with beer. So we say, It's similar to Just like is just beer. In this one, it's also beer. Fine. Okay, so that's the hard part of the da. Who is the son of a chol? Yes, has beer with the Israel. Mm-hmm. Doesn't get married. That's uh, she's a eighteen year old girl. Yes, yeah. three years later she marries a kain. She not true anymore. She's not allowed to marry kain. She's not allowed to marry once she has. She's not allowed to marry kain. She's not allowed to true. Yeah, meaning true from her father's house. Well, she's Basi Sol. If she's okay, but if she could be about it, we said yesterday there's a Basi Sol that could all eat room if she has a kid. She was previously married to a okay, kind. Right. And she has a kid who's a kind, so she's allowed to eat room, even if she's single. Right. Yeah, so that's, and then she goes and marries this chal, so then she's going to become possible from eating room. Right. Yeah. So, oh well. Didn't we say that the uh, beer with a, what do for it doesn't possibly, you, didn't we say this a few weeks ago? Beer doesn't. A single girl, is yeah, a but, puzzle lacuna. If it, only if it's a guy, correct. So here she's puzzled. No, but these, that. yeah, because it's a chol. So a chol and a guy. Isurim, isurim make her puzzle. So a chol. So now we're at. We said yeah, yeah. Now we're saying so we chol. Say yeah, chol. Yeah, sure. Okay. Now in the Mishnah we had two more shitas. We had Rabbi Yosi and Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, right? Rabbi Yosi had said kol shezaroi puzzle puzzle. We said that any Rabbi Yaisi's shita was who makes who makes a woman puzzle from eating truma and from marrying a kayan. That's um, um, if his kids will become puzzle, then he can make the mother puzzle. But if the kids are not going to become puzzle, then he can't make the mother puzzle. Sounds confusing, but what's the I mean, what is the what is the nafkamina, right? 
because most of the time they're making the kid well they're making the kids puzzle so my you what's the difference between the tanakama of yoisi right because again the tanakama said what was it negaya a mitri a doimi a moini moyavi kusi nasin holo mamza right so that's all that's all going to make puzzle that makes the kids puzzle so what's enough camino so my you could be tanakama of yoisi what's the difference between the tanakama of yoisi i'm reviving on mitri Shani Vadoimi Shani Ikabenayu. A second generation Mitri and a second generation Adoimi. Because we know that the third generation of a Mitri and a third generation of Adoimi is Mutter. So we're talking about where this guy is a second generation and he sleeps with a Baskayan. His kids are going to be kosher. Right? So according to the Tanakama, this lady is still puzzled. But according to Rabbi Yaisi, she is going to be kosher because her kids are going to be kosher, right? Sounds confusing with bats, but it's a pretty simple thing. Uh, you're talking about again a mitri and a daimi, second generation, sleeps with a with a kain, with a bas kain, yeah. Marries, doesn't marry. He definitely has to have beer, yeah. The kids that come out of there are kosher. So according to Rav Yossi, since the kids are kosher, the mother's also kosher. Why right? the kids kosher? We came out of. Uh... Because the, the third generation, third generation, but the, the second generation wasn't allowed. Correct, but the kid Lamais is the third generation. He is the third generation. I mean, the guy's not getting the tzaddik of the year award, but he's. But the bottom line is, his kid is kosher, right? So b'shneim la don't do elu mi kain gadol ba'amon, and they both learn it out from kain gadol ta'amon. The Tanakhama says, "Ma kain gadol ba'amon should be yosef ba'avera upaisel." Amon with a kain gadol, their relations. Is Piavera and it passes so Afai Namo Paiso exactly what Naftali just said. This one also, since the beer was a so was a puzzle, so then there was makes a puzzle. That's a ton of cover. Yes, you saw a kain godal, ma kain godal shazari puzzle, u puzzle. That a kain godal's kids are going to be puzzle. That's why he makes the wife puzzle. Af kol shazari puzzle puzzle. So so too only somebody whose kids are going to be puzzle makes something puzzle. Afu ke mitri sheni dein zare puzzle comes to exclude a mitri sheni. That his his kids are not possible. They said, "Bana Masheri Yivaldu, Lahem Dar Shlishi Yav Lahem Bekal Hashem." The third generation, the latter coming to Kahal Hashem. So therefore, that's the Nafkamina. Fine. Then the third sheet in the Mishnah is also is also uh, seemingly what's the difference? Rav Shimon Galil, I'm a Kol Shatanoisa Bitoi. If you can marry his daughter, Hatanoisa Almanosa, you're allowed to marry the Almana. But if you can't marry the daughter, then you can't. So then, my Ika ben Rabbi Yosef of Shimon Gamliel. What's the difference between Rabbi Yosef and Shimon Gamliel? I mean, which, what, which, what would be the nafkamina? So, Amar Ula Ger Amoni Moy Avi Ika ben Ayu. The difference is a Ger from Am Amon and Moyov, who are not allowed to obviously uh, become Gerim. Right? Why? So, um, the for according to Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, they're not gonna, they don't, they're not gonna make the women who they have relations with um they're not going to have uh what do you call it i'm sorry you know what before that just what's what's uh, amoni and Mayavi? what's different about them so amoni and my amoni and Mayavi can't come in a male amoni and male mayav cannot marry in but a female amoni and a female mayav are allowed to marry in right so what happens here is that you have this um, ger amoni mayavi who have relations with this bas koyin, right? The kid lemaisa is the daughter. If it, if they have daughters, their daughters are perfectly mutter to be married to. So according to Shem Gamliel, that's not going to make their mother's puzzle, right? So that's what two weeks before shvuas. Very good, right? Very good. Yeah, right. In the same thing, they both don't learn it out, only from an Almana Kohen Godel. Right? Rabbi Yaisi said, Rabbi Kohen Godel was an Almana Shazari Puzzle of Puzzle. Rabbi Yaisi said that even, that just like a Kohen Godel with an Almana, whose kids are Puzzle, and he makes, he makes, he makes the Almana Puzzle, of culture is the right Puzzle, Puzzle. So, so too, anything that's the kids are Puzzle is Puzzle. Right? Which means that, um, if it's if the and there's a potential to make puzzle because there's a man if they have a kid if they have a boy that boy is not going to be able to come into um um into the cloud so 
all the kids, right? Afshakol zare posel posel, right? Only has to be all of them, right? La fuke amoni moavi the ain kol zare posel. All the all the zera are not posel. The amar mar amoni v'lo amoines moavi v'lo amoavis. It's only a boy. It's only amoni and not an and not a moines and moavi and not an moavis. So therefore, since kids from this from this relations could theoretically be kosher to come into the gehila, so therefore um, it, the the mother will not become puzzle to kahuna and puzzle to true. Fine, okay. Now, again, just as a haktama, we can have we have two two scenarios. You have a bas Kayan marrying the yisrael, and you have you could have a Yisra, a yisraelis marrying a Kayan. Right, so we're going to say they're going to be conflicting psukim. Which the same thing? You just said the same thing. I said the same thing. I said yeah. a baskayin marrying a yisrael. Oh, but... and uh, I don't. I could be. I said the same thing. I don't know. <laughs> At some point, it go. You go. Just go in circles. Right. It's a baskayin that marries a yisrael, and a bas yisrael marrying a kayin. Right. So again, if the bas yisrael marries the kayin, she's allowed to eat truma. Once they get divorced or almana. If she has kids, she's still allowed to eat truma. If she doesn't have kids, she's not allowed to eat truma. And then the opposite from a, um, a Bas Yisrael, I'm sorry, a Yisrael marrying a Bas Koyin, right? So Gemara, the Mishnah says, Ha'aynas, but let's say he rapes her, Ba'amafateh, or he, Mafateh means uh, basically it was, uh, he convinced her, Ba'ashayta, and somebody is a shaita, loy poislin, loy machilin. They don't make puzzle and they don't, and they don't feed. So puzzle means they. That's the simple. If they, if they're, they don't make her puzzle from eating. Meaning, if they, if they rape a paskayan, it's no problem. Like as you're saying, a fata too, a regular yisro, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't make. Uh, um, it doesn't make her puzzle. And a shaita also, because she's a shaita as if there's no marriage there at all. But lay machilin, but she's not allowed to eat truma either. Meaning if any of these guys were kaihanim, then they're not going to allow her to eat truma because it's not a marriage. Rape is not a marriage. And uh, what do you call it? Wedlock is not a marriage. And a shaita is not a marriage. But but if let's say these guys are not right to come to Yisrael, like we said in the, the previous Mishnah, then they're puzzled, like Mamzer and or Nasan, then they will make a puzzle. Ketzad, right? Yisrael Shabal Paskayin. If you have Yisrael who uh, it has relation to the Paskayin, Taichel Batruma, she's still allowed to eat Truma, right? Because it's not, there was no Isser there. I mean, it's Isser the Rabbanon, obviously, but to, to sleep with a woman without Kedushin. But there was not not as not an issue there. I said on Tomid Bay is now. Ibra, but if she got pregnant, then Lysa Chobatruma, she's not allowed to eat truma. Right? Because because since she has potential um a Yisrael in her womb, right? Again, we're talking about a Baskayan who got raped by a Yisrael. So if she's pregnant, she's not allowed to eat the truma because she has a connection to Yisrael. Nechtach uber b'meyah toichel, which a very interesting choice of words, right? If the uber, I mean, it's a miscarriage, but they, the way the Mishnah is saying it, it got cut up in the womb. Then toichel, she is allowed to, she's allowed to eat truma because uh, because um, the baby died, right? That's what Rashi said. It's even if the baby, if the if the and if she gives birth to the baby and the baby dies, she's also allowed to eat truma. Uh, so I thought that was the no. Kiddush. What? Where is the baby now? Yeah. Which one? When the miscarriage? Yeah. I don't know. It died. But we said she can't be pregnant with it. Didn't we say yesterday, two days ago, that fetus makes her also for truma? What? Didn't we say? Yes. Yeah, but if it died, it died. If it died, it died that's it. So it left her body, you're saying? Yeah. It's not in her body anymore. No, I think that's the Kiddush of Nechtach. Still, it didn't leave her. It I says here, think, even if it was not expelled from her body. Right. Who's, right that's Art Scroll is saying that, that even if it was not expelled, expelled, yet expelled from her body. Didn't we say that... I understand, yeah, but... Didn't we say that an Uber makes her... 
It's not That's over something. anymore. The baby it died. What's the problem? If the baby died, then the baby. you're saying you're saying gosh, we're doing we're dealing with two different things. I'm always asking that the baby. The baby, she's out. She has the thing, but the, if she's she's pregnant, but when the baby dies, that's it. It's done, right? And you're Gershon, You're saying why the Mishnah chooses to say miscarriage as opposed to saying having a baby Expelled. and then it dying. Right, the baby's still right. inside her. It's just not a baby. Right. It's, it's a chiddush. No, but the baby. Right. I would have thought it's still not kinureh. The chiddush is that it's still considered kinureh. Yes, right. But that's but that's what do you call it? Um. Uh, what was I going to say? No, I'm just saying the choice of words of Nechtach Uber I think because usually it would be it's called a uh, stillborn would be after birth. That's how you would know. Here we have a way of knowing somehow that while it's still inside her that it's not alive anymore. It's a Raya that we rely on ultrasound. Oh, is yeah, 2,000 years ago they, they didn't have it. So 2,000 years ago they had it was Nachtach. That's what it was called. It must have gotten cut up somehow. Interesting. I mean, otherwise, how would they know? Otherwise, that doctor. That's what you're saying. How would you know it was Nachtach? Yeah, it sounds like we could rely on ultrasound because otherwise, how would you know? I don't know, Taka. Interesting. I hear you. Okay, I don't, I, yeah, that's what, yeah, that's just, uh, I guess, mean, otherwise, how would you know, even if it was not Nechtach, how would you know that it's a miscarriage? That's what you're saying. Well, if it comes out, then you know, but if it's still inside, sorry, how right, would you know how would you know? Right. Exactly. That's a, that's a good Raya, talking. it's a good Raya. Okay, so let's divide. So that's one case. Then, Hayekoyin Shabbat Bas Yisrael. You have a Koyin who, again, was Mazana with Abbas Yisrael, not Mazana, Mazana is the wrong word, right? He just slept with her. Out of wedlock, she can't eat truma, right? Because again, just because if she marries a kayan, she's allowed to eat truma, right? But not if he's just mazana with her, right? Ibra, but if she gets if she comes pregnant, she's still not allowed to eat, right? Why? Because she needs to be born. If until it's born, she cannot eat, she cannot eat truma. Yalda, but when she gives birth Teichel, then she could eat it. So it comes out an interesting thing. Nimza Kaiche shall ben Godom Michel Av. The Kayach of the son is stronger than the father, meaning the father doesn't have the Kayach. The father sleeps from wedlock to with this woman. He does not have the power to allow her to eat Truma. But the baby that came out of it does. Right? Fine. That's that case. Then our Eved, Paisel Mishum Bia. And Eved is going to passel, like we said, uh, Eved is going to make a, a bas kayan passel because of Bia. But he's not going to make her passel because of kids. Like again, here it he, here he gets a little bit uh, lumdish, but, uh, but it like a little bit of calculations. Meaning we said that a bas kayan, as long as she has a son from a kayan, even if she's divorced or widowed or whatever, She's not allowed to. She's she's uh, not allowed to uh, go back and eat truma. So what the Gemara is going to say, if she has a grandson or a great grandson that's an eved, which the Gemara is going to explain, how do you get an eved from an eved kanani, eved kanani, not eved ivri. Eved ivri could happen, right? Um, but how do you get an eved kanani from a nice Jewish couple? So Ketzad. Right, so meaning, and if that kid is an Eved Kanani, that kid is not considered a kid, and therefore she would still be able to eat truma, right? If she would, she'd be able to go back and eat truma. Kate said, "What's the case?" Bas Yisrael Lekoyin. If you have a Bas Yisrael married a Koyin, Bas Koyin Li Yisrael, or a Bas Koyin married Yisrael, either one of those scenarios. V'yalda imenu ben, and then they have a son. Balach ben v'nichbash ala shivcha. Another interesting lashon, and the son goes, and literally means he crushes the shivcha, meaning. He sleeps with a shifcha, right? A slave. The Yalda Himenu Ben, and then they have a son. Now we know that the son of a shifcha is considered an Evid, right? So now what? So these people have a grandson who's an Evid. Hareza Evid, he's an Evid. Haisa, right? And then, Haisa Aim of Ibas Yisrael if the mother 
of the father is a was a Bas Yisrael married to a Kayan, and then the Kayan died. She's not allowed to eat truma. Why? Because the kid is not uh, because it's not uh, he's not considered a kid. So therefore, she does not have a kid. That's a Kayan. Even though she has a grandson from the Kayan, but she's not, but it's not it's, he's a possible kid, he's an Evid. Bas Kayan Yisrael, but if it's a Bas Kayan to Yisrael, right? Then Taikhabachuma, she's allowed to go back and eat truma because it's as if she doesn't have any kids more anymore. So she goes back to her father's house. Right? So it's a very interesting calculation. Mamzer, Paisel, or Michael. A Mamzer will make somebody puzzle if he marries, if he sleeps with her. Or Michael, but, and, but he'll also allow them to eat, which basically means that the Gemara is coming out that if they have a grandson who's a Mamzer or a great grandson who's a Mamzer, even though that kid cannot marry anybody in Kla Yisrael, a mamzer is still considered a grandkid. It's very interesting. Right? We had that also when we were discussing the Sugya Pruravu last week, that if you have a mamzer as a kid, many, many shitas hold that you, your yaitza Pruravu, I think everybody holds that your yaitza Pruravu with a mamzer. Right? How could that be? <laughs> see, the guy can't even marry anybody any year or anything, but you could. So you see that a mamzer, even though he's a mamzer, is considered a legitimate Jew. And therefore, he will make allow the mother to eat truma. Let's see, Ketzad, Bas Yisrael, the Kayan. Either you have a Bas Yisrael who married a Kayan, or Bas Kayan Yisrael, or a Bas Kayan married Yisrael. The Yaldo Himenu Bas, and she had a daughter. Vaholcha Bas Venisus LeEved Oylevik Kachavim, and that daughter went and married an Eved or a guy. Right, and so that's going to be Yaldo Himenu Ben, and then she has a son. Hareze Mamza. So the kid is a Mamza. Right? But he's still considered a grandkid. Um, is this it has to be, right? We don't paskin this way. We don't paskin like this Mishnah. I don't know why the Mishnah had to pick um, this case exactly, but we don't paskin like this Mishnah. We paskin that if a guy sleeps with a woman and they have a kid that's not, or with a Jewish woman, that kid is not a Mamza. But this mission is passing that he is a mamza. Okay. If I care, right. We pass him that this is the way to get rid of mamzerus. That's exactly that's, like this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with the Evid. Yeah. Yeah. So Hareza mamza, right? So now what? Hosa Amy, my Basisro Lukayan. If the grandmother is a Basisro to a Kayan, Tachel Bachuma, she could eat Chuma. What? Who could eat Chuma? If the grandmother was a Basisro married to a Kayan, and then the then he died. She's allowed to still eat truma because she has a grandson that's a kain, but, but he's a mamza. Why not? Mother, that, no, the grandmother. I, the mother can't, but the grand. What did the grandmother do wrong? Why, okay. The daughter married a. That's it. Why can the grandmother eat truma? Why not? Stuff? What she do wrong? I, okay, I just. What could the Maybe she slapped her daughter too many times that her daughter went and married a guy. That's a different story. Where could the Right, the grandmother had a daughter who married who who had a mamza. Right, the grandmother was married to a kohen. Right, why could now her husband dies because the husband died. She had a daughter, correct. So why couldn't she eat truma then? She had a child. She did. She could have eaten truma then. So why she stop eating truma? No, the daughter's puzzle now. I didn't say the daughter's puzzle. She has a grandson. Who's a mamza? So when the daughter became puzzle, she could the grandmother couldn't eat truma anymore. No, she can't eat truma. She could still eat truma from even though the what made her stop eating truma? Nothing. Nobody said it. She stopped. She could continue eating truma. What does it do with the grandson? Because because she has she has no other kids other than a mamza. She has a daughter from the from the client. Yeah. So she has a daughter from the client because who's now I said the daughter from the client's puzzle. Or let's say the daughter dies. Now let's say the daughter dies. So if the daughter dies, yes, then it falls onto her grandchildren to allow her to eat trauma. Yes. You're saying the mamza is allowing that. Okay. Correct. Oh, sure. Mamza will allow it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so okay. Im aim imay bas yisrael lekayin taicha b'truma. If it's a bas kayin liyisrael, light taicha b'truma because um, if it's a bas yisrael bas kayin to yisrael, she's still considered as if she has zero from a yisrael, right? And therefore she's not allowed to eat truma. Fine. Last case. Kayin gadol. 
you have a Kayin Gadol, Pa'amim, Shehu Paisel, you can even have a Kayin Gadol who sometimes will not allow his grandmother to eat truma. Right? Again, it doesn't mean, it, it can be a regular Kayin too, but the Gemara is trying to do it, emphasize that you could have a Kayin Gadol who's the Kaddish of the Kaddashim and he still will not allow his grandmother to eat truma. How? Ketzad. Bas Kayin Yisrael, if you have a Bas Kayin to marry Yisrael, yeah, bas, and she has a daughter. So again, a bas kayin marries Yisrael. She has a daughter who's a Yisrael because her father's Yisrael. Beholcha bas is lekayin, and the bas goes and she marries a kayin. Beyolda imenu ben, and they have a son who can be a kayin. I raise a roi is kayin gadol. Right, so the son could be a kayin gadol. Oimiru meshamish al gabi yamizbeach. Right, and he could he can stand and he can work on the mizbeach. Right, I don't know why the Mishnah has to say that. I think it's just for emphasis. Right, that he's a kohen gadol. He's working on the mizbeach. Michael is imoy. He allows his mother, who was a Yisraelis, to eat truma. Right, meaning if his father died, he his mother, who's a Yisraelis, is still allowed to eat truma. But he passes upaisel aim imoy. He passes his grandmother, who was a kohen. Right. Why? Because after his mother died, right, his grandmother can, can't eat truma because there's a Kayan who's really a grandson of a Yisrael. Right? Meaning if the Kayan would not be alive, if the Kayan mother wouldn't be alive, then she would have no grandchildren from the Yisrael. Therefore, she goes back to being a Bas Kayan and she could eat truma. But since she has a grandson from a Yisrael who is a Kayan, so she's still out. So she's still out because it's coming from a Yisrael. Whatever the calculation. She has other children? No, then it's then and she's allowed. Yeah. Okay. So I say, Meres, this is what it's saying. Like Kibne Kayan Gadol. There shouldn't be too many Kayan Gadols like my like my grandson. It says son here, but this is a Bene Banam Rayam Kibanam. Right? There shouldn't be too many sons like Kayan Gadol. Shu Paslani Mina Chuma makes me puzzle from Chuma. Imagine. So you got this grandmother. Shepping nachas from her from her kain gadol grandson, but she's ticked off at him because she made him not eat. She made he made her not eat truma, right? Because he comes from Yisrael. Fine. So Rashi has says. a very important vav here. It's not a regular zayse meris. It's viz zayse meris, and this woman can say, right? It's not yeah. a cloud. It's not a zayse meris, right? Yeah, you mean, I mean, he just puts in a vav to the thing, right? Yeah, that's true. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. Yes, it meaning she's saying it. It's not, that's not the Mishnah saying it. Yeah, so Zok the Gemara, Tanin Allah the Tanah Rabbana, Shaita Vakatan, Shanasu Nashim Umesu. We have a Shaita or a Katan that marry women and they die. Mr. Sayyid, Paturis, Mena Chalitza, Mena Yibam, their wives are Pater from Chalitza and Yibam because a Shaita or a Katan is considered a non marriage. So again, even if a shaita cut and marry a woman, then they die without kids. So normally they need them. There's no marriage there, so that's it. Fine. Ketzad. So then the Gemara says, Ketzad, what's the case of the Mishnah? Ha Yisrael Shabbat Bas Kayan. You have a Yisrael who married a Bas Kayan. Taichel B'Truma. She's allowed to eat Truma, right? Because it was not, out of wedlock, is not a psal. Ibra, light Taichel. But if she gets pregnant, she's not allowed to eat. Right? Why? Because um, she's still meaning she can't eat truma because you need to uh, um, because she's pregnant from from the Yisrael's uh, uh, what do you say? Yeah, because well, we said no, stop. A pregnant woman cannot uh, forces the the mother who's a baskoy not to eat truma. So what that says based on something that we learned well, a while ago, kiven de ibra loy soicha, right? So since we're saying what she's pregnant, she's not allowed to eat truma, so why don't we be chayshin that even before she's pregnant, why don't we chayshin that she's pregnant? Meaning, today, a Yisrael sleeps with a bas kayin. So we're saying, well, if she's pregnant, she's not allowed to eat truma anymore. But otherwise, she couldn't eat truma because there was no marriage there. So she's still considered a bas kayin, right? Why don't we chayshin that she's pregnant right now for the next three months? Right? Remember we said that when a woman gets divorced, a woman loses her husband, she has to wait three months. And Yibam also, you got to wait three months because maybe she's pregnant. So why don't we be chash in here that maybe she's pregnant and she's not allowed to eat truma. Me like Tananda, we not learn the Mishnah, we separate the couple for three months. 
Shema Muberes, hey, maybe she is a Muberes, and therefore um, we're not going to know who the father is. So, so, so to here, why don't we say maybe she's pregnant from the rape, and since she's pregnant from the rape, she's not a truma. So Amar Avarahuna, the Yuchsin Chasha Shul the Truma Lechasha for Yichus. That's a major thing. We need to know who the father is. So Mamele, we're going to be Chashid. The Truma for Truma Lechasha Shul. We are not going to be concerned for for Truma. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's, Truma is not such a Chashash. So if she's pregnant, she's pregnant. Okay. Right. The woman is also from Truma, anyways. We're not Chashid by. What do you mean? We learned that a regular pregnant woman is possible. We don't go and say every woman go go be Chashid because she's pregnant. We said Uber passes you from Truma. Correct. Know. Correct. We don't that's know so that's that the Gemara's ka- That's the Gemara's Kasha. That is the Gemara asking. Why not? Every, every, every woman should be. No, if it's a Kayan to a Basque there's no problem. Right? right? So, okay. So, the Truma, like Chashashu, we're not Chashashu for Truma for pregnancy. But Tanya Reza, Gita, Shah, has Kayan on the A Kayan says to his wife, um, This is your get. Uh, uh, an hour, right? His wife's a Israelis. He gives a get to his wife, and she doesn't have kids. An hour before I die, this is your get, right? So he doesn't want to uh, have any, uh, any um, what do you call it? Gunish. She's not allowed to eat chuma right away. Because why? Because how do you know when the guy is going to die, right? He said to her, an hour before I die, the Kayan says to the, to the Israelis, an hour before I die, I'm going to, this get is yours. That's what the Kayan says. So she becomes also right away because right now, maybe he's dead in an hour. Right? So. This is um, the antithesis to the Gemara Shoiv. Correct. Well, I don't know if it's. Yeah, it caused someone else problems before it, yeah. Huh? Correct. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. But Lamaisa, Lamaisa, we're Chayshin Petruma for, for things, right? Even though it's only a small possibility that the husband's dying in an hour, we're still we're still concerned. So why are we concerned that she's pregnant? By marriage, we're chayshid for we don't we're chayshid for pregnancy, but by znus we're not chayshid. If the island remembers, we said way back that a woman's with mazana, she's going to be using birth control, or after they're together, she's going to clean herself out. She's going to do any any type of excuse to make sure she doesn't get pregnant. So this was a Maisa's Nus we're talking about here. So therefore, we're, we're Chayshe, at least we think that she's going to try and pull off some sort of birth control. So therefore, we're not going to be Chayshe that she's pregnant. Mashenk in regular marriage, we have to be concerned where the baby, who's the father of the baby. So the says, I'm going to sue and be By marriage, are we Chayshe? Right? For pregnancy, but Tanya Basca and Shinnisus Li Yisrael Umeis, if you have a Basca who marries Yisrael and he dies, so meaning, so this case is they got married, and the day they got married, he died. Meaning the morning after the chasana. They got married, the morning after the chasana, or the day after the chasana, he died. So she can be taival because she has to be taival because they were together. Al Tumas Kerry. And then Aichelas Petruma the And she can go eat Truma that night. Right? So, so why? Maybe, maybe again, this is a Baskayan. Why don't we buy, why don't we question that she's pregnant now and she's pregnant with Israel's baby? So why is she allowed to eat truma? So what it means is she's allowed to be toivel and she could eat until she's 40 days old. This is in Yana de Yoma. The Eli Ma'abra, because if she doesn't get pregnant, Hala Ma'abra, uh, then she's not um and she's not pregnant, right? Abra, and if she, meaning if she didn't get pregnant, she's not pregnant, so she could eat truma. Abra, if she is pregnant, until 40 days, it's just considered water. So therefore, it's not considered a, a, um, a how do you call it? A, 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 viable fetus. Viable, thank you, Naftali. Viable, it's not any. It's not, no, it's oh, that's what they say? Okay. <laughs> no, I thought, thank you, I, I it's, I it's, it's fetus. Okay, so it's, it's not viable, it's just water. Which is why Be'etzim, if somebody does an abortion, that's what I meant by Yonah Yoima, right? Before day 40 is no chiv. Now, that doesn't mean that it's mutter to do an abortion before 40 days, but it's certainly more, more lenient when you have a shiloh. 
right? If somehow somebody found out before 40 days that there's something genetically wrong, then it would be much easier to get a cooler or, but it's not, but it, I, doctor, correct me if I'm wrong, it'd be there. That's, I don't know if they can possibly find anything out for you, which is exactly what the Gemara is saying, because it's Mayim Ba'alma. Right? Fine. So I'm like, I am a Seifa. What about the Seifa? Hooker or Brub Mayel, Tame Kukelos, the Mafreya. If she, if you recognize the Uber in her womb, then she should be Makalka the Mafreya. Right? Meaning, let's say she did eat Truma and then she becomes pregnant. So, or she was pregnant. So then she has to pay back all the truma because she wasn't allowed to have truma. Again, it's a it's a, a Baskayan, she's married to Yisrael. Right? And then the Yisrael dies. So if she finds out she's pregnant later, so all the truma that we said she's allowed to eat, she has to pay back. Right? So Gamara is saying, why does she have to pay it back for at least only up from day 40 and on, she should have to pay back. Before day 40, she shouldn't have to pay back. So the Gemara answers, my Mukukelis Adar Bain. Mukukelis Taka means until 40 days. It means until until 40 days. Fine. Then the Gemara brings another very uh, interesting machlaik. Itma. Habala Rusazi Veshama. Somebody who sleeps with his engaged wife, meaning back then they got engaged, a year later they got married. Now engagement essentially is marriage. And then the couple's together. He goes to his in-laws and you know, and they they end up being together, can't control themselves and they're together. Right now, this is they're getting married anyways. So you think, okay, I mean it's a big deal, but what's a big deal? So Rav Omar of Vlad Mamzer. Rav, Rav says the Vlad is a Mamzer, meaning even though they're getting married, this couple to each other. But Rav says the kid is a Mamzer. Shmuel Amar Vlad Shtuki, the Vlad is a Shtuki, meaning we don't know who the father is, so it's a Suffolk Mamzer. So either way, you cut the cake here. Rav is saying that it's a Mamzer, and Shmuel is saying it's a Suffolk Mamzer. Rav's words make sense. The if, if, ma- yeah. If there's no wish, how could the baby be a mamza? Oh, oh, so let's see. Let's be very good. So that I mean, it's right. That's that's the that's the Shiloh, right? How can the baby be a mamza? They're getting if there was no Arison. What? Let's say there was no Arison. They were Stamazana Right, right so no, that's single. not a mamza. So how could this be a mamza? Right. Oh, so yeah, that yeah, so yeah, the way Peretz is asking it is a little bit more, a little more complicated. Let's see what Rav is saying. Rav, 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 Rav makes sense that Daima Ma'alma, where she, because she is, uh, I don't know exactly how to touch the word Daima, she's Chayshid from the world, meaning if she's going to illegally sleep with her husband or whatever, her, her husband, right? That means she's she's gonna be Mizana with other people too. The same way she gave into him, she may gave in, she may have given into others. So we have no idea who the father is. I mean, so we're know. like now this Chazaka already after one time. No, so he's saying if she's that type of flirtatious lady, I think that's what that means. She's always running around and da, 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 so then we have to be Khaisha. That's what Rav is saying. It's gonna be a machleg between Rav and Abaya. So Rav is saying if she's this flirtatious lady. So then we're going to be chayshu. That the same way she slept with the chas and she slept with somebody else. Yes, I can't say I understand the chas. Wasn't well. you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we had this thing with it. I mean, it's already come up five times with Yehuda. They used to do that in Yehuda. Yehuda was a right. big part of the of Kali Israel, no? Yeah, but they didn't do it. They what? didn't do it purposely. I mean, that just end up happening like that. Yeah, you're right. But it happened in Yehuda. If it happened enough to make it into the Gemara, no. <laughs> it's true. So you're saying, according to this, the whole Yehud is Mamzer, if, if they got pregnant. That's a fair point. It's a fair point. According, um, to, according to Rava. According to Rava's, and according to Rav, and according to Shmuel, it's a Suffolk, Mamzer. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sold on that. Why the not? reason they did it, the, the reason they did it to Yehud is that she should be infatuated with him. Correct. That reason would go against even the daim on my own. Okay, so but uh, but if you you're right, but okay, let, let's see the whole Gemara. But at least according to what he's saying now, yes, in Yehuda, if they wouldn't be, if she wouldn't be a flirtatious woman, then yes, then a Hanami, the kid would be fine. But let's say she is. Right? He's saying in Yehuda there were no flirtatious individuals, otherwise they wouldn't have to do this. Okay, maybe. Right. Anyways, again, the Rav, the Daima Alma. It makes sense. Rav makes sense when she's running around in the world. 
We go with him. Right? Um, yeah. Now the question is, so um, how come we're not chayshu when, when you're chayshu a married woman, right? A saita. Why don't we just say, if a saita were being chayshu her, so that means maybe all her kids should become mamzera. Right? We we're only from engagement, but, right? So the, the answer is yes. From marriage, we go bus arrive. Right for all of us, all of us uh, big men out there that think our kids are our kids. Our kids are only our kids because we go with the majority. Right, right, bilas acharabal. So, but you don't have that when they're engaged. When they're married, even if she's mezana, most of the time she's more, more. She's with her husband more than hopefully, right? More than with other men. So therefore, we go basar right. But you don't have that right when they're engaged. <laughs> The only reason you have the chash but engaged because you know she was with her husband. Correct. That started the whole pro. So if you, she wasn't with her husband, you would know nobody would ever think it that she was pre she was pregnant with no. somebody else's baby under the chuppah. Who nobody would no such no a thing, right? right correct but it's good so, but but how come a woman who's married and will at her for a saita that doesn't now per- turn all her kids into mamzer. Right. And I'm saying, why doesn't it? A married woman. Yeah, because we this, said what you said, Roy Bielus. Yeah, no. Right, yeah, that's all that's what I'm saying. Right, though. So Roy Bielus, go about. But when, when they're engaged, there's no Roy Bias. There's only one beer. There was only one beer here, as far as we know. So that's Roy. How do you know? But with Chashi, she was Mizana with others because she's running around the world. Okay, I, I, yeah. okay. I don't understand it. Okay, fine. It's okay. I'm yeah. saying just because somebody does one Avera, now we suspect them of doing numerous Averas? No, so that's what you're right, David. That's what Rob is saying. It's it's only applies if this girl seems to be, uh, I don't know what the word is, a swinger or something, whatever. She's wild. But it, yeah, if she's not wild, then he says, then we're not Chayish. That's the way Rav says it. Oh, my Rav. Let's see how it says. How do I know? This is the Katani. It says, Yolda, right? Taichel. If she gives birth, then she's allowed to eat truma, right? Because, so, meaning, because if, obviously, if there's engaged to a client, you say, hey, you what's the case? Elaine with the diamond, my alma. If you say that she was, you know, all over the world, yalda my taifa, why does she, why, if she has a baby, is she allowed to eat? Maybe the father was not her chasen, elalav, mine daima, right? She's only chayshid, the only chayshid that he slept, she slept with him, the kayin, not with anybody else. That's why it's a kayin. And just like over there, where she's ushered to the kayin and she's ushered to anybody else, right? They're both ushered to her, right? Um, even though one is the Rabbanon, but and one is the Raisa, but, uh, but they're both ushered. But we still say that the boy goes after him. And here, where she's also to the other people, but she's muttered to her to her chasen, like kolshikeng. So then it's not a kolshikeng that it should be okay. Meaning, she's not, again, she's not muttered to her chasen. She's also to her chasen because of. Um, um, what do you call it? Because the Chacham said she's not allowed to be with them, but Ba'atzim she is. Fine, that's Rav's Pshat. So I'm really, I buy a call Hecha the diamond mine. Anytime a woman is, is Mazana, again, it's not Znus, but she's together with her Chasan. Avagav the Loy Damim he's stricter, even if she is not running around the world. Right? Amma Rav, Havlad Mamza, still Rav says the Vlad is Mamza, my timer. Damrina made the Afkar Nasha, the Gabi Oros, Afkar Nasha, Alma, the same way she was Hefkar. For the Oros, she's also made, she must have also made herself Hefkar to the world. Um, only after she was engaged. Yes, only after she, well, it could be before she was engaged too. Before but, and the, 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 it's not a Mamza, like, it like you the Barrett said. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. You, yeah, you're saying, I don't, you mean, why, you're asking why we only Chayshid that she was Mazana, maybe she was pregnant before. I hear you're right. I, I hear that, Tucker. That is a good. Yeah. And the Mishnah 
with a Koyin and a Yisraelist, that's talking about where they were in jail in one, in one, uh, in one jail together. And then she became pregnant. All right, so therefore, there's no chashad that anybody else came into the jail. All right? it's, it's quite an interesting case. Other than that, he would say, Anachanami, if she would not be able to eat truma, because we don't know if the father's a kohen. That's one way of looking at it. When he admits that he was slept with her, I mean, it sounds like according to the first shot, he doesn't admit it. Right? But here, the second shot is when he admits that he was boiled her, right? Um, so then, Kuliyama Loi Pligi, nobody disagrees, the Basra Dide Shadinele, which is what the Eilaman is saying, that if he admits it, then we say, okay, it's his kid and it's not a mom's. But this is what we're saying, Arusa Shivra, right? If a, an, a, a, an engaged girl became pregnant and we don't know, we don't know who the father is, Rav Amar Ablad Mamza, Vishmul Amar Ablad Shtuki. Right? Meaning, if the guy is Maida that he slept with her, okay, so that's it. There's no Mamzeris, which is, which is, I think, the way we passed him. Um, maybe no, maybe not. So, Rav Amar Ablad Mamza, Vishmul Amar Ablad Shtuki, the Vlad is a Shtuki. Amar Rav, Mastavra Milsi, the Rav, the Lloyd Diamond Me Nay, the Diamond Me Alma. Rav makes sense where she is not, she's not from, um, there's no chashash, meaning where he didn't. She, what do you mean delay damimine? Meaning she said I was not with him. The damimayama, but we're chashed that she slept with the world, right? Avol on Tom ben Aleph now. Avol damimine, but if she is, if they, if they, if they're maida that they slept together, afagav the damimayama. Even if the world, if even if she's this type of lady, pasrei di desha dinale, we put it past. We put it by him. How do I know what I'm saying? It says if she married the Kayan, she could eat. Hey, what's the case? If she was, well, that he was together with her, the Kayan, and she wasn't hanging out with the rest of the world. Do we need to say a Kiddush that she's allowed to eat it? A must be the diamond Nami Me'ama, where she's also. Choshed on, you know, running around umahas and the lahai isura ulahai isura, and there, where she is also to the koyin, right? And she's also to the to obviously to anybody else because she's engaged. Pasri didesha dinilay. We still say it goes with the koyin. Hacha, here the lahai isura ulahai atera, where she is also to one and mutter to the other. Like kol shikain, is it not a kol shikain that it's going to be her, her, her son, or the koyin son, and therefore that's why she's like ichuma. Amar Levayel, Oylem Emelach, Nevayel is more strict. He says, Levayel, I'll tell you, kol hechad the daima me'alma, right? That when she is running around the world, afagav the daima mine, even if she, if they admit it, we're still chayshet. Amar Rav, Avlad Mamzer, Avlad Mamzer, Masnisin, what's our Mishnah talking about? The light dime a cloud, it's talking about where there was no chashad at all, not with the coin, not with anybody else, right? But if we talk, it would be chash that she's mazana with other people, then, um, she then she would be it would be a mazana, it would, she would be a um, it would be as nos, yeah, okay. We'll stop over here. I, I hope it was understandable. Um, reminder if anybody wants to see the eclipse, we got the lunar eclipse tonight. Uh, oh, starts at 10 20 i think oh, and but and according to some it's the last night for kiddush levana so i don't know what the deal is with kiddush levana during an eclipse i don't know idea what to do with that make a bracha on the eclipse is that a stein asking that question uh, i don't i i think we only make on solar um i think only on solar i think I don't know. What do you look to see or not see? You're not going to see the moons. The moon's going to start getting covered at 1020. But we don't see the moon uh, uh, half the winter anyways. No, what do you mean? You know, you see well, you there's a bunch of time. If you push it off, push Is it, it off. Is it a clear sky now? Is it clear it's sky? It's not a clear sky. I don't think it's clear. It's partly cloudy. I hear. All right. It's over both. Fine. Um, What's blocking the moon? The sun? No, the Earth. The Earth. The Earth. Between the sun and the moon. Right. 
What did you say? So blocking the light from the sun to hit the moon? Correct. Uh -huh. Okay. It's Yaakov. Yeah. Now that I, I missed it, my riff. You want to come with me? <laughs> no one's going to bother you there. They're all in a rush. Should I take you to 10 o'clock? No, I'll go to 10 10. Yeah, go ahead. After I mind the way I mind is my out way my obvious, I figured I'd look ahead and lock my hammers down. Half the duff is about Rip Shimon talking about beer mice, talking about burning. Yeah, I, I didn't get up to that. I'm gonna do that. Half the duff. Rip Shimon and beer mice. Yeah. That's pretty good. Can't make it up. <laughs> that is pretty good. Yeah. Wow. I hear you. All right, but I'm gonna I'm gonna run now. I'm jumping the shower because I did some exercise, and then, yeah. All right, the shikayach. All right, zagazunt. Night.